All right. We're getting ready for attempt number five. I just closed out the live stream. You guys saw me struggling with this. I cranked up the furnace to 11.11. That's degrees Celsius. It's gonna go a little hotter, but only when you got a stainless steel, or I'm sorry, not stainless steel, but a uh, sterling silver 925 uh, alloy. Maybe it needs to get a little bit hotter than you even gotta do with uh, just straight copper. Which is funny, because silver is even lower than copper, but you put the two together, it's even higher than both. So here we go. Here we go. Attempt number five. What time is it? It is 6.40 p.m. Mountain Time. Here we go. Nice and hot. Coming out. Go, go, go. So close. Such a little button right there, too. Woo! Careful. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I think I'm going to have to... What the hell was that? I think I'm going to have to put these right back in the furnace anyways, because I don't like how that turned out. This is extremely difficult to work with this material. down I'm gonna have to pound this uh, one second all right I just beat the hell out of that thing to fit it back in the crucible I turned my furnace up from 11 11 up to 11 and 20 Celsius and we're gonna see if that temperature change is gonna work for us um, I just don't know guys I might have to change my ambient temperature in here maybe that's the problem it is rather cool outside. It seems like in the crucible is not the problem. When it, when it comes out, it like almost instantly solidifies. So we'll see what it do. Preheating for attempt number six. Still kind of sort of warm, so just got to be careful not to crack the mold. Better to get it nice and hot than not hot enough and crack it. I have fire brick back there, guys. I'll light my freaking shop on fire if there's wood right behind that. All right, so here we go. Attempt number six. This does not want to go. Mm -hmm. Yep, that did not work. It's funny, if I beat it down while it's still hot and I fit it back in the crucible, it literally only takes two minutes at this temperature to melt it again. So it's got to be my ambient temperature that I'm fighting here because the crucible is obviously hot enough. So Instead of repeating the same uh, thing over and over and ex expecting different results and being the definition of insanity, what we're going to do is try the map gas directly on the mold as we're pouring it, see if that changes anything. So here we go. Now it's downpouring rain out here. We have success, everybody. Yes, that is the trick. If you are pouring seven, uh, 925 sterling silver, you have to keep the torch on it. I wish I did that the first six times. <laughs> Let's take this out of the thing and uh, see how it do. I will take it. A win is a win. 
Could be better, could be worse. Little oxidization there from uh, the map gas at the very end. I should have took that sucker off immediately, but I'll take it. Ta-da! Honeybee round and 925 silver, guys. We did it!